Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. I'm going to keep with the Unguttable Locks Being Gutted series and do a couple Defiant Locks. This one in my hand is 30 millimeters. This one in the vise is 40 millimeters. Let's start with the 30 millimeters and pop this one open real quick. And then we're going to get them both at the same time. I believe this 30 millimeters is also four pins. There we go, but there's our open. And... It's getting a little stuck because we see I already kind of have it uh, taken apart right here. So that is why it is uh, stuck like that. That is okay. We'll take it apart anyway. And our 40 millimeter in the back here. That pin to... There we go, pin three right there. And those are open. So you can see both of them are pretty much just standard pins. And now let's take them apart. Let's start with the little one here. This one's just, it's just waiting to come apart. And the bigger one I've already taken apart. Careful. There we go. Our end piece, because when that comes off, the shackle spring will come with it. There we go. And here's our cylinder. It does look like it is probably four pins. Definitely felt like four pins inside. Take that apart. And like most of them, it looks like the first so many of these are just the shape of the... Um, cylinder to accommodate the cylinder we have one blocking right here and then we get to where our our actuators are in the back and this one has the typical wafer style actuator on the small one there and here's our yep our spring to accommodate that as well and to take it the rest of the way apart, we take off the pins here. And we can we move it around the shackle and then we take it all the way off the shackle because this bottom one here cannot fit over the end of the shackle. So it's kind of interesting, you have to take them all. I'm trying to keep them close together to keep those, the other actuator. Oh, actually, looks like there's only one. I'm used to seeing two of those wafer actuators in there. So, yeah, here we go. That comes there, and then we get this piece, this piece, and then the actuator fits inside of this piece in the far end here. I think it's probably this way right here, and the spring probably fits in right there kind of like that so there we go there is our 30 millimeter let's take apart our 40 millimeter and then I will gut these both at the very end of the CV pen contents in them that way I can cut and just come right back to save some time All right, just got those off. Oh, there we go. There's our end piece and our spring. So our bottom here will be the 40 millimeter. And then of course our cylinder. All that out of the 
way. And then the same way. Yep, here we go. All the same exact big stack of the same exact shape right there to accommodate the cylinder. And then the rest of these have to come off the opposite direction because of the shackle ret retaining plate on the very end here. So this very end one cannot go off any further this direction like all these could. They all have to come off the other end of the shackle here. Just like our 30 millimeter. And I want to do this without releasing the actuators, but I don't think. There we go. Okay, that worked. So that's the very top. There we go. That goes there. And then our actuator pieces. You can watch right here. Oh, there's some pins in the center there. Hmm. This is kind of actually helpful to me, actually. So yeah, we can see the actuator right here. So I'm gonna leave that in just for a second. I didn't notice those before, so that's kind of cool. Oh, never mind. Well, I was gonna leave it in, but uh, we can see at least how it works <laughs> now. Zoom in here. I did leave it lose a piece, and I heard it go flying over towards uh, um, my computer. So I am not gonna search for that at this moment and waste your time. And the way it works is I can see that. These are both separated, and this goes inside the actuator. There we go, like that. Oh, and there goes that one too. Fantastic. So that was a little pain in the ass to uh, sit in there, but basically what happens is we can hell just pull these out right now. They both have a spring with a little rod that fits inside the actuator area here to, f to push off the other actuator piece inside of the body here. And that's how it works. Uh, we've seen these, um, the style in like the old Yale style, the old uh, um, brass, you know, nice Yale, uh, good tolerance style padlocks. Anyways, so we got all this gutted to this point right now. Let me cut and then uh, let me gut and see we can see the pins of the 30 millimeter and the pins of the 40 millimeter. All right, I have them both gutted. You can see on the top, our 30 millimeter pins are all standard for our key pins and our driver pins. Our 40, 40 millimeter on the bottom is both standard on the key pins and the driver pins as well. And you can see in the back here, we have them both fully gutted and disassembled. And that is our Defiant brand padlock. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.